Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today I want to talk to you about, um, actually there are three things over the next few days that I'm going to talk to you about building a bond with your child. Today we're going to talk about date nights, the importance of date nights, and I'm sure that there are many of you who actually practice date nights with your kids right now. But this was something that was very important to us, and as I mentioned to you when I was talking about family councils, that the very first council meeting at the, at the beginning of the month, we put on all the date nights for the entire month so that everybody, every one of the children knew exactly when their date night was coming up. This was a time that they went out with their parents, my husband and I, and it was a one-on-one -on -one excursion, something that they wanted to do. Most of the time we tried to get them to choose the places that they wanted to go to, and we did have a couple of caveats. We didn't want to go to any place where we couldn't talk and we couldn't communicate, and that meant we didn't go to movies, and we didn't go to theme parks where, we're, where we were running around from one uh, ride to another. We wanted to go to places where we could actually talk and communicate and have a good conversation with them and build a bond with them. Okay, so we took them hiking and fishing and swimming and we took them, they, they actually loved going to bookstores or the, to the library. We went to the beach, we went to the zoo, we went to musical concerts, we went to sporting events. And when you went to, we went to the musical concerts, there were still times and also the sporting events, there were still a lot of times where we, where we were able to talk and converse and to carry on conversations. We tried to ask them questions that they couldn't be answered with a yes or no, they were open-ended questions. We talked to them about school, we talked to them about their friends, we talked about uh, goals, we talked about we talked about things that they were hoping to accomplish that year, all of those different things. Now what we did stay away from are any things that would cause controversy or criticism or put them in a bad position. Like for instance, if they were struggling in a subject at school, we didn't bring that subject up. That was rever uh, reserved for times when we did interviews with them. But we tried to make it a really fun time where they, they enjoyed being with us and we enjoyed being with them. So we could, could create this bond of love and, and parent-child um, closeness and this relationship where they wanted to open, open up and communicate with us. Now there was one thing is back in the day when we were raising our children, we didn't have cell phones back then. Okay, so there was no problem, but I would like to make one huge, huge suggestion dump the cell phones. You can be without them, you can take them with you in case there's an emergency, but dump them, don't bring them out of your purse, don't bring them out of your pocket, don't bring them out of anything, because that night is for your child and you are focusing solely on them. It doesn't matter if you know the thing rings, it doesn't matter if something pops up, None of those things matter. The most important thing that matters at that particular time in that particular evening is your child and that date night with them. It will pay off huge dividends because later as they get older, even when they're teens, our kids still wanted to do those date nights. They didn't care if they were seen with being with us and their friends. Those date nights were important and they wanted to be with us. So those were, those were just some of the rewards. So let me leave you with this quote by Charles Swindoll. Each day of our lives, we make deposits in the memory banks of our children. And when you're doing date nights, you are making deposits in the memory banks of your children. You can go on my blog at Good Parenting Brighter Children and you can read more about date nights. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.